Hey, hey, it's TDA and welcome back to Patreon. We are in the sixth year of trying to keep everyone in New Amsterdam alive. And so far, we're doing pretty good. We have quite a lot of food. We are running low on firewood and other woods though. So we are probably going to have to do something about that. But it is getting closer to the end of the winter. So I think we'll be fine this winter. And we probably want to insulate some of these houses. So let me double check if I actually insulated all my houses. Apparently I did not. So that's not helping. Um, so yeah, there we go. So we are definitely going to have to do something about the general wood situation. Um, we can improve someone to be a carrier. So that should be useful. We, quite, we have quite a few people actually now. Um, and those immigrants themselves are very useful in terms of actually getting us some more stuff going on. So what I think we want to do is, um, well, first of all, I'm briefly going to slow down the game a little bit. Let's check out the general map. This is the fertility. So this, this general area is not particularly fertile. Um, we do have a very fertile range over there. We probably want our food to be grown here. Uh, if we want to have food being grown at all. Um, do we have any other zones with really good soil quality very close? Mm, doesn't seem like it. We have this area. Now uh, we have this area up here, which is quite far away, honestly. But let's see. The ore is very well over there. We also have a lot more that over there. So, hmm, let's see. What we could do is maybe kind of work towards this area with maybe putting down some more uh, borsters and things like that. We are already pretty close to there anyway. And then once we unlock some of our food growing technology, we can put that over there. So sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. There's probably a couple of different ways we could go about this. Um, but we are definitely having some trouble with firewood and that is never a good thing to have. Now, it is worth noting that these uh, depots are actually kind of transporting I uh, items through thin air. So as long as you have depots in strategic locations, you will never have really long transport uh, issues or anything like that. So that's actually also a reason why we might want to put a depot here or here. So we have uh, things like firewood and stuff like that being transported a little bit more quickly. Hmm. Now I say that that's actually maybe not a bad idea. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, these things are pretty cheap anyway. So. Um, yeah. We Let's see. This should be enough to reach the close shop, right? Yep. Yeah. Let's build one over there. And then what are we going to do? Well, we are going to set up some more foresters. Let's see, foresters huts. Let's check the fertility. We could actually just build them over here. I'm not entirely sure how these affect when each other when they're so close. So in order to play it safe, I'm just going to put one. So let's see. Does this actually improve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's far away from the former warehouse. I know, I know, I know. Let's see. Mm, how forested the area is, but we can affect that ourselves and how fertile the soil is. And how fertile is the soil? Hmm good language anyway um, in that case since these are covering this area already let's build some over here let me zoom in a little bit don't want too much of the mountain I'm actually just going to build two and we are definitely going to have to build a depot next to that because otherwise this is going to take way too long to transport everything. And let's see. This should make a pretty decent road. 
like that, like that, like that, and then up here, and then all the way through here. There we go. Now we are, once again, I there's probably a smarter way to do this, honestly, but I am just going to block out a few ones like this again. Um, something like that. Did I actually build any road signs? So yeah, I did. Good. Good. I am not doing it that badly. Luckily, I almost thought I forgot there. That's there for a moment. Let's build that over here. Let's build that over here. Why are you cold? Why is everyone cold? Because we have no firewood. I know. That's what I'm trying to fix. Go, go. Build, 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 build. Um, let's expand this a little bit and assign someone to work here as well. We have quite a few people now available to work. We should probably make sure that we do keep a pretty decent amount of workers available now because if we go down to, to like two or three, I mean we do have people assigned as a carrier now so that's, that helps. But we definitely should make sure we're not underutilizing that too much. Anyway, uh, let's reduce the upkeep a little bit. Let's increase the production. Let's increase the production even further. That spent all of our money, but I think that's a pretty good investment, considering we are very low on that. Now, we only need 200 of that going on. And let's see. These are being assigned, yes, good. Now I'm probably going to set you to just plant once again and then just you to cut and then we probably should uh, look into increasing the efficiency of cutting a little bit as well. Considering... Yeah, I'm actually wondering if this was the smart thing to do. We could just have expanded the current foresters with one slot each rather than assigning two new ones over here but they're built now anyway um and well just setting down the building itself is not really a big deal and having a more forested area over here is probably not a bad thing either so it seems that this forest station here is doing a pretty good job so that's that's working like intended let's speed up a little bit again now we should hopefully be able to keep our firewood in stock now and that means we have some time to kind of look at what our next little project is going to be. And I think that will be the carpenter's hut. And that will allow us to produce furniture. And let's check our... Okay, so we built the clothes shop in the last episode. And we were down to about 40 satisfaction in terms of luxury. But apparently now the church needs money. To attend to everyone's needs of the soul, the church needs to satisfy the more material needs first. But for a modest sum of coins, sure. Um, nine coins, and it's going to buff the religion that we are probably... Well, we actually can use the full buff, so that's fine. Uh, or we can take a huge hit to religion. Well, I can pay nine coins. I mean, if that's all, I'll pay my tithes. That's just fine. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so the um, luxury goods was down to a satisfaction of 40. And thanks to building the clothes shop, we actually now brought it up to 66 already. Uh, I think it just ticked up once again. So this is um, turning out to be pretty, pretty nice. This will actually give us a further buff. Um, but it will take 250 coins. So for now, I'm actually just going to go for the carpenter's hut first. That seems like a better way to spend my money for now. Uh, how are we doing on workers? Pretty fine. We might consider changing this a little bit because I think we might need more stone in the future. So let's just set this to 200. The herbs we might want to set to 250. Uh, lumber we definitely need to keep at 100. And then the iron we can probably keep selling at 250 as well. So that's fine. Okay, so we have researched the carpenter's hut. 
Uh, what does it need? It needs coins. Sure, why not coins? Um, once again, lumber and tools. Um, but it's going to produce furniture and it's going to produce a pretty nice amount of those. So let's see. Um, why does it have a weird range? Let's let's check for a moment if there's any buffs to the furniture production. It doesn't seem to be the case. So that means what we could actually do is just have our furniture production. Where is it? Over there. Have it be built over here, maybe. Uh, right next to the depot. Should be fine. Now, honestly, there is an argument to make to keep your production a little bit closer to your city as well, because people do have to move from their houses to their work. Um, they have to commute, basically, and they do so by walking, so it's not necessarily the most efficient way to do that. Now, once again, optimizing, I think, is key for pretty much every building, but especially buildings that cost you... Um, well, basically, it costs you a little bit of tools and coins, and it will actually reduce the upkeep on the tools and coins so this will earn itself back in a matter of years and it's always a good investment to do that now we are going to be producing furniture and i think that is probably something we could look into selling rather than let's say our stone for example so let's see furniture is being sold at a price of three and what about clothes let's let's check that out as well uh, it's actually also sold at a price of three. We don't actually have that much furniture. Oh, well, we do now, actually. It's actually going up really quickly. So, in that case, let's stop selling iron. Uh, well, we don't want to sell clothes at all. So, let's stop selling clothes. And let's set this to... How much? 30 this is, this is just a luxury item right so let's just export this until we reach a minimum amount of 30 and that should be fine i believe and that should bring in, us in some more money because we like money even if we have to give it to the church every now and then speaking of which let's see so our general happiness is doing pretty well the luxury goods is up to 78 actually now so that's really really good um, the religion is back up to 97. Now, it was dropping a little bit, but the safety is actually back under control as well, thanks to our little watchtower over here, so that's good. Um, I wish I could actually reduce the upkeep of this as well, because that's actually a pretty hefty upkeep. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. So, yeah, we should probably start and um, can I reduce the upkeep of this? No, I can't. That's a shame. Hmm. But we can increase the production here and there. We can optimize some stuff. That's definitely worth it. Let's spend some money to save some money. I'm Dutch. That's what I like doing. Uh, 200. There we go. There we go. So we fully upgraded this now. So we fully optimized it now. So that's good. Same goes for this thing. Uh, the toolsmith is actually not fully optimized just yet. It's also taking quite a bit of uh, upkeep. Same thing for this quarry actually. I actually didn't do anything with this yet. Oh, so bad, so bad, so bad. We have, cool, we have 19 children. Uh, okay, so we probably have to make sure we keep an eye on our food production there. How is our foresters doing? Our foresters are doing pretty well. Let's make sure they are planting some more trees. Uh, this one is cutting as well, so let's make sure you are boosting your production. So this is actually producing quite a lot of lumber. How's this other one doing? Yep, yeah, that's uh, getting up there as well. Let's increase your production a little bit as well. So these fertilizers are already completely up and running, so that's all good. Uh, yeah, once again, I should probably just focus on upgrading one rather than both of them. But now I have both of them, I am just going to do this uh, and get that out of the way. I think with these four, we should be good with lumber production for a long time. 
considering we are now producing 300 per year over here, 300 here, and we can actually increase the amount of people that go in here. So that should should be fine. Um, how are we on people? We have seven workers. We definitely do not need another person in the quarry. So that's not necessarily something we want to do. Um, let's see. If it doesn't make sense to upgrade any of this, honestly, I don't think so. Um, it doesn't seem that we, there's anything that we're trying to sell that we can't actually offload quickly enough. Um, as you can see, we are not having any issues keeping this under control. So that's fine. Let's increase the production a little bit further. I'm actually kind of surprised that we can't like do anything else with this, considering this actually had the Hatter option, which was really fun. <laughs> uh, I really enjoy the fact that we are not just making clothes, we're also making hats now. Um, I wonder if we can actually see that we have hats. I think they just count as clothes and it's just a buff, but um, it would have been funny to actually see uh, people wearing hats or something like that. But um, hmm, this will do. This will do. Now, let's see. Um, what else? Venison production up. That's never a bad idea either. And production up during winter it basically buffs both of these things, so that's a pretty good thing to have as well. How much um, leather do we have? We are producing 200. We are only... So we should have a pretty good stockpile of lumber. Uh, not lumber. Uh, leather. It's actually not, not that much. It's actually only 150. I'm not surprised at that. Is that because our storage is full? No, it's not. Uh, this, is, this is shared storage, right? Yeah, so we have a capacity of 12,000. And we're nowhere near using that. Well, most of it's actually being used by food. Considering the fact that we can never have enough food. I don't really mind that. Um, yeah, so... Seems that we've stabilized quite a bit. Oh, we have so many children incoming. Uh, our population is actually going to explode at some point. Um, they do take quite a long time to grow up. So in that, that sense, it's not a bad thing or anything like that. But we are going to need quite a few more houses. Our foremen are reporting that there was a rat infestation in one of our warehouses. We've lost some good... Goods, unfortunately. If they fail, they can settle the difference. We can reduce the safety. Or we can... Have the fish be stolen, apparently. And then improve our safety. Let's just send some, some fish. We have plenty of food. Which seems like a weird thing to be saying in a game like this. But we do actually have quite a nice amount of food. So nothing to worry about for the moment. Um... So, that means we have the luxury of being able to focus on something different. Now, I'm actually wondering if these small statues and things like that is, are going to be actually, actually useful, or if it's just to make stuff you look pretty. Uh, we can actually make a small park as well. Okay, so let's just check that out. I think this is just beautification. Let's see if we actually get a buff. So, the hedges and fences do actually cost quite a bit of lumber and coins. Uh, a small park, on the other hand, actually increases happiness in the vicinity. Oh, let's pause there for a moment. We have some people without a house. So, let's pop this up and let's make sure we start building some more houses over here. Let's just build two while we're at it. Because we probably have some more people growing up really quickly. We have now 20 houses, 19 families. I did insulate all of these. Let's make sure we actually insulate these ones right away. There we go. And we are doing pretty good on firewood now. So now we actually upped our production of logs. Let's upgrade that a little further. How are you guys doing on your fertilizer? Are you doing pretty well? Let's upgrade that as well. Yep. Seems pretty good to me. And um, yeah. Let's see. So. 
Um, the small park, yep. Um, what else do we have? The Gathering Hall automatically upgrades the Townhouse to the Gathering Hall, which opens up more options regarding social policies. Additionally, allows the planting of wheat fields, oats to feed ranch animals and apple orchids, and the construction of ranches to herd chickens, and opens up more resources for trading on the docks. Um, yeah, that sounds like a good thing to aim for. All we really need to do in order to get there is um, maybe sell some stuff. Let's see. Mm, these are automatic trade deals. I don't think much is happening in that regard. Let's see. How are we actually doing on tools? We are producing about as much as we're using. And that's because this one is using tools and this one is using tools. And this one is producing. Why is it that we are... That's pro this probably has everything to do with the fact that the coal production is probably not able to keep up. And the coal is pretty much using, um, being used in the houses as well, which is kind of annoying. But um, yeah, we can actually increase our production quite a bit. There we go. Uh, oh, and now I just spent all the money I was going to use for the upgrade of our town hall. So, um, yeah, let's make a quick skip to actually upgrading that thing. Alright, then we have some more money, and apparently we also have some native relics. The expansion of our city has unearthed an abandoned native village. And a graveyard, it seems, or some other spiritual site. The news has spread fast, and it seems both the church and the king are interested. The king, however, wants it all, while the church hopes to share the loot. I don't want any of it, uh, and that will give us more loyalty, but it will reduce our safety, or... Uh, half of it sounds fair, let the church know we agree, if enough of our people might get superstitious. That will give us a huge amount of coin. Uh, it will reduce our safety, but we can deal with that. Yep, money. I like money. And there we go. So, let's see. Um, let's upgrade our gathering hall. And that will unlock quite a few more things. And after that, I think we should also... This is interesting. So we have a uh, charcoal burner, which allows us to produce coal from lumber but we can just produce coal from a mine so I'm not entirely sure if this is the way we want to go on the other hand upgrading our lumber production is pretty straightforward and hmm, 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 interesting interesting but for the moment let's make sure we have the gathering hall up and uh, running we're probably going to need this considering it actually literally says it's your only source of clay uh, a mushroom farm sounds interesting as well hmm, there's a lot of interesting stuff actually but let's go for the charcoal burner first oh actually we do want to get this buff as well because that will buff the general happiness around our clothes shop and well that's just free happiness so that sounds like a good idea Let's see, so, um, houses, houses, did I insulate everything? Yes, do we still have enough houses? Yes, the extra house is already being lived in because we are now up to 40 people. Let's assign one more carrier. Uh, we still do not need a quarry, man, but we do probably want to start looking into building something else. How are we on food? Um, I am a little worried about food, honestly. Mm. Not entirely sure if we should be worried because, of course, our fisher, uh, fisherman is producing more food in the winter. Same goes for the hunting lodge. We can actually upgrade that, so let's do that. Um, yeah, so I think we should be fine in that regard. We just upgraded this. Let's make sure we get the buff going. And let's check out our new charcoal burner so this produces coal from lumber actually has an upkeep from of coins once again i'm not entirely sure how happy i am with that how, how am i doing on coins we, we have so many buildings that actually require coins and we are of course continuously imp increasing the size of our people so in that regard we should maybe be fine um and of course we are selling stuff as well Quite honestly, we are making way more firewood at the moment than we actually need. 
I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it is, is something to take into account. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so let's see. I think we should be... I mean, we are getting a nice stockpile of lumber now. So let's build one of those charcoal burners. We probably want to build it here because this is where we also really are using it in order to make tools. And we're not using the charcoal anywhere else as far as I know for the moment. Let's make this a nice little um, industrial area. I like how it's not aligned. That might seem very weird coming from me, but there it is. Um, and yeah, let's have that be built. What else did we have? We had the clay pit. It was my only source of clay. So that sounds like something we should probably be doing. Uh, in terms of farms, we actually have a crop field and an orchids available as now we also can build a ranch i am actually not entirely sure if that's just something we put down or if we're going to have to kind of build a farm or anything like that to go along with that oh we can actually research a fishery how is a fishery different from what we already have i mean a fisherman's hut and a is this just the upgraded version of a fishery uh, a fisherman hut, sorry. Oh, another sh housing shortage. Let's make sure we fix that really quick. How is this? Oh, that's because the other one wasn't the line as well. Uh, okay, 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 okay. There we go. And then we put in another house. You can go and build your own house. Church dictators are offering us a way to gain some favor with them. Though that's really just a way for them to tell us they, what they want done. So we can improve religion at a small fee or not. Let's do not. I just gave you half of that other event thing and they made a lot of money out of that. So, uh, um, Yep, let's assign someone here. This is a pretty hefty amount of coal, actually. Uh, this is also a pretty hefty amount of lumber going in. And we can't actually make this more efficient. Well, we can make it more efficient by upgrading it. So let's do that. Um, but this is a huge amount of lumber. It's also a huge amount of coal. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I'm not entirely sure if this is worth it. We'll keep it enabled for a moment. But uh, if we ever get into lumber issues, this is probably the first thing we're going to turn off. Because the grid is just going to turn stuff into coal and then burn it. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how happy I am with that because honestly what we could do is just have someone move into here. That, yeah, um, to be honest that sounds like a way better idea. So let's, let's just keep this in here and actually let's, let's assign someone else to the coal mine. Because this is also using coins and lumber in order to make coal, but I think it's actually a lot more efficient. Especially if I upgrade it. Um, so this is two people producing 780. So yeah, that's, that seems to be pretty much the same amount as I had over here. Um, per person, that is. At a lower cost. So I'm not entirely sure I get the point of the charcoal burner. If you do know it, let me know in the comments. And you can shout at me and stuff like that. Because I'm probably doing something wrong. Overlooking something or anything like that. But yeah. Alright, our base is coming along really nicely and if you're still here, you're awesome because you stayed till the end. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.